shoot a quick video to show you all my wool hunting shirt. I actually finished this about a week ago, but I hadn't had a chance to shoot a video yet to show everybody what I've done. Uh, I also tried to shoot some pictures of this to post up, but I never could get the lighting right. And working off the timer with my phone, it just, it just wasn't working for me. So here it is. I made it out of an old uh, army wool blanket I've had probably for 15 years. Had a big two-inch hole in the middle of it where I used it to move some furniture, and it got ripped. And uh, so I haven't used it as a blanket for a while. So I've, I've been wanting to turn it into a shirt for quite some time. I was watching one of Dave Canterbury's videos, and he had some instructions on there for how to make the shirt. So I was like, that's what I was planning on doing with it anyway. So here we go. Uh, it's a pretty simple shirt. Uh, you can see it comes down to the right above my knee. Right now I have a belt on it, so that kind of draws in a little bit. I'll take that belt off in a minute so you can see the full size of it. I did attach a hood to this. Uh, you can see the hood's nice and deep. Uh, full coverage of the face. It's very warm. And uh, my sleeves, when I'm down, I have my hands out on my sides, cover just about to my fingertips. And I can put my arms all the way up over my head without my arms, come, my hands coming out of them completely. If I needed to get them up off my hands, I could cut the sleeves back roll them back maybe two inches, something like that. If I needed to have my hands free or if I was getting warm, I could roll them up. I rolled them all the way up to my elbows if I just wanted to regulate my body temperature some. I don't know if you can see this, but the edging all along the sleeves and also right here, uh, I sewed that up with the same yarn that I used to sew all of the main seams. The ends of the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt, I just left the edges from the original blanket. It was already stitched, so I figured they probably did a better job stitching the edges than I'll do stitching it, so I left it alone. The stitching is just a double stitch using an acrylic yarn. Um, I'll prove this up here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. The yarn I used to stitch most of it is a, it's just like a camouflage yarn I had sitting around the house from another project. You can probably see it a little bit better, the stitching on this right here. I uh, stitched it through this way and then stitched back over it that way just to give it a little extra durability. Let me take this belt off right quick and give you all a sense of the full size of this shirt. Uh, you can see it's got plenty of room inside of it for layering. I've worn this over a fleece. I didn't wear it for very long because I just felt burnt up. I uh, wore this thing outside with just nothing but my, just my khaki slacks and a t-shirt underneath it. 40, 45 degrees outside. I was warm. I had to pull the hood off, roll the sleeves up a little bit. So it's, it's a very well insulated shirt. It comes down to the back of my knees in the back. So if I do have to sit down or something, I've got that layer behind me. And uh, it's pretty comfortable. I, I really enjoyed making it. And uh, I'm looking forward to using it and getting out in the woods with it and seeing how well it performs. So that is my wool hunting shirt. I hope you all have enjoyed this, and I'll make another video here in a few minutes. I've got a, another knife project I'm working on with uh, deer antler instead of the wood handle like I did on my last one. So I'll shoot up some video of that here in just a few minutes. Thanks a lot.